Welcome to Manowaker Studios' Flash Fiction Podcast. I'm C.B. Drogi. A quick note before we begin. Please consider supporting Manowaker Studio with a purchase of one of our books or games. Find out more at manowaker.com. This week, Free to Loving Home, Donation Required, by Michelle Ann King. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Hugh Everett Rehoming Center. My name is Hendrick, and I'll be your facilitator today. Firstly, I'd like to thank you all for coming. I know that interdimensional travel is time-consuming, physically debilitating, and for some of you illegal. It can also be rather disconcerting to meet your alternates, so we do have counselors available on-site for advice and support. Although I am obliged to point out that attendance is at your own risk, and the Center cannot accept liability for any loss, damage, personal injury, or emotional distress caused during your visit. But that's enough about the small print. I'm sure that when you meet Paul, you'll agree that this superb opportunity was well worth the effort. As advised in your initial query packs, this version of Paul is 33 years old and was rescued from a continuum in which human society was destroyed due to a viral pandemic. However, I can reassure you that Paul has been extensively tested and confirmed to be genetically immune to both the host world virus and all current notifiable contagions. And we do provide an enhanced immunization package specifically tailored to the successful applicant. Now, you'll notice that Paul is currently a little underweight and showing signs of, well, shall we say some wear and tear? This is to be expected, given the hardships and privations endured in his prior living conditions. He hasn't had it easy this last year, poor guy, so he's not exactly looking his best right now. But apart from the dermal scarring and some decreased liver function due to a period of alcohol misuse, he is in perfectly fine physical health. We expect the leg to heal completely, and with a balanced diet, sober living, and access to medical care, he has a projected life expectancy of another 37 years. So, I think you'll all agree that it's still tremendous value for the money. I do also need to make you aware of the possibility that there will be some psychological damage that won't become evident until he's resettled. We'll have a behavioral advice line available to you free of charge for three months, although you will, of course, be required to sign a disclaimer releasing the center from all responsibility. But even if you don't have relevant treatment facilities in your home worlds, some good old-fashioned love and affection can do wonders, am I right? Of course I am. In this Paul's personal history, both parents were killed in a road accident when he was 23, so mums and dads, you'll all need to allow for that developmental gap in re-establishing your relationship. Apart from those who lost their Pauls at an early age, of course. I'm sure you'll all agree he grew into a fine young man, and obviously he'll be thrilled with any of you. Ma'am, are you all right? Would you like some water? We can take a break if... Uh, All right. I'll continue. Before the breakdown of his society, Paul was employed in the field of law enforcement. While I appreciate that might not be a viable option in all potential destinations, it's still evidence of valuable training, skills, and experience that will be an asset to any dimension. He was married at 25 and divorced at 30, after his Megan had an affair. Megan's, please bear that in mind. Even if you were one of the ones who stayed faithful, this Paul will come with trust issues you'll need to work through. Lynette's, I'm sorry. Since his timeline played out differently, he won't know you. But of course, that's not to say he won't learn to love you the way yours did. We all understand that no marriage comes with a guarantee of success, but your previous history means you'll certainly have a head start with this one. Okay then, unless you have any questions, we'll be opening the floor to bidding. Remember, the charitable donations of our patrons are what keep this facility going and let us provide rescue and rehabilitation for people like Paul and second chances for all of you who've loved him. Oh, and while we're running your credit checks, there will be refreshments served in the reception room. Thank you for your attention, ladies and gentlemen, and good luck. This has been Free to Loving Home, Donation Required, written by Michelle Ann King, and previously published in You, Me, and a Bit of We.
The Flash Fiction Podcast theme song is by Kevin McLeod. I'm C.B. DeRoghi. Thanks for listening. Episode 0128, Production Copyright 2016, C.B. DeRoghi and Manowaker Studio.